Hi everyone, my name's Heidi and I work for an environmental charity based in Peterborough called PECT. We work with schools and local communities to try and get people to understand the way that they live and to be more sustainable in their practices. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make seed bombs. Now if your school has got a seed bomb kit then you'll have everything you need in that kit. You'll just need to add a bowl or a tray, something to mix your seed bombs in and some water. If you're joining us from home, then that's absolutely fine. We're going to go through everything that you need to get ready. So before we start, we need to make sure that we've got a good space to work in. It's quite messy making seed bombs. And so therefore we need to make sure that we're not going to get the carpet um, dirty. If it's a nice day, you might be able to do it outside. And if not, then do it on a good space or on the floor. Make sure you put some newspaper down to protect everything. So let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to need is going to need some wildflower seeds. Any that you like. Try and make sure that they are indigenous to our country. So that means they are naturally grown here because um, that just helps our um, natural pollination. You're going to need a spoon to measure out your seeds. You're going to need some clay. Now, this is natural clay that we're using here. If you haven't got clay at home, don't worry. You can just use plain old flour. So just the cheap stuff. Or if you've got some right at the back of your baking cupboard that's gone out of date, you can use that. This is just to bind and um, stick everything together. You're going to need a bowl or a tray to mix everything in. So it doesn't matter what that is, but just make sure it's not anything that you're going to be using to bake a cake with. You're going to need some water. Now you're not going to need a lot of water. We're just going to add that in as and when we need it. So depending on how dry your um, compost is, then that will depend on how much water you need. And then you're going to need some compost. So I've got a um, bucket of compost here. So this is peat free and we use peat free because it is better for our environment. But whatever you've already got at home or if you're going out to purposely buy it, then try and buy the peat free version. So it's really important that we keep planting pollinating flowers because bees and butterflies and other pollinators need them at regular places to be able to fly to and from. Without them, we wouldn't have lots of crops and food that we have today. So what we're going to do is we're going to put all of our dry ingredients in our bowl first. So we measure in cups. So you decide on what size cup you want to use and make sure that you use the same size all the way through. So we've got one cup of our clay if you're using flour then that's fine and that just goes into our bowl now you can see the size of cup i'm using it's just one of those small espresso cups the more you use the more seed bombs you can make so it's up to you and then we're going to add in three cups of compost Sure that we've got that in there. Okay, it's got three cups of compost in there, and we have got our clay. Then I'm going to add my wildflower seeds. So I'm just going to use one spoon. Now, if you've gone out and brought a small packet of seeds, then you just empty out your packet into there. That's absolutely fine. So this is the messy bit. We're going to start mixing that round with our hands. So what we want to do is just get a good even mix of all the seeds and that compost and that clay. If you've got any lumpy bits in there, just break them up. There we go. Now we want that to all stick together so that we can make our seed bombs. And seed bombs are normally the size of a large marble to a golf ball, but no bigger than a golf ball. And the reason why we use seed bombs is because all the seeds will get mixed in with all of these nutrients from our compost. And then we're just going to lay them on top of the ground when we go outside. And then when it rains, the rain will wash the seeds through and into the ground and they will self germinate. 
it stops birds from eating the seeds and it stops them from flying off in the wind and planting themselves wherever they like. So that's why we put them into a bomb. So I'm just going to add a small amount of water into there. I don't want to add too much. And then this is where you're going to get really dirty. So you want to mix it around so it starts to stick together. So that clay will start to soften up or your flour will start to bind everything together. And that's just acting like a glue. That's not actually doing anything to our seed bomb or and it's not hurting any of the seeds either. So you can see my compost was quite damp already and I haven't needed to use a lot of water to get that to stick together. So then you're just going to tear a bit off. And then you're just going to squeeze it together to make a ball like that. OK, so then I'm going to lay those on my paper that I've got handy. If you've already got newspaper down, so that's already done for you. So you can see with these quantities, you'll probably get about six seed bombs depending on the size of your bombs you might get a few more you might get slightly less so you're just molding them together it's quite fun isn't it this make sure that um, you haven't got to touch anything when you've finished go and wash your hands or there's somebody there to help you open doors and things because you don't want to get all of that mud everywhere. So let's do the last couple. So you can see they're not all exactly the same size or shape. That's absolutely fine. All the seeds, just make sure that you've got all the seeds out of your bowl that you've not left any behind. So there we go so there are our six seed bombs that we've made i'm going to leave those on a windowsill now to dry and then once they're dry i'm going to take them out on a nice day and put them where i want to plant them it's really important you consider where you're planting them wildflower seeds don't like grass so don't put them on a really lovely grassed area because the grass will just overtake the seeds and they just won't grow so plant them somewhere where there's nothing there or it's a little bit um, dry and uh, not a lot growing. So they've got a nice amount of space to be able to get into the soil and start to grow. You want to start to plant your seed bombs between May and kind of September, really. Um, they like the good weather. They don't like the really, really cold. So once we get past September, it starts to turn. It's too cold for them and the seeds will die. And if we plant them slightly too early, then we've still got things like frost around. So that's the time of the year you want to plant them. And then, like I say, you just take them outside and then you just put them on the ground wherever you want and then keep an eye on them. So hope you have lots of fun making your seed bombs. And don't forget to share your photos of you making your seed bombs and your seed um, flowers growing on our PECT website, on our PECT social media. You'll find us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. And if you want to see this video again or other videos that we've made, then you can find us on PECT YouTube as well, where there's lots of other activities you might want to get involved with.